Okay, this is a January 2nd, 2014. Today we got to turn the key in. That's the mold that keeps coming back. We got to constantly wipe the windows on in the kitchen. There and here too. I got another picture to show you how dark it gets. All the walls are in good condition. I got above the cabinets up on top. I cleaned them all up nice and scrubbed them. Clean the oven, clean the back of the oven, all the kitchen. The enoleum is placed over another older emoleum. They did a very poor job on it. Uh, it seems right there, but in the back of the stove, I took pictures of it. You can see where it's dub double layered. Cabinets are all done underneath the sink. Cupboards are all cleaned out good. This washer is cleaned out really good. Living room. All the walls are in good shape. I patched all the all the nail holes we put in for the pictures and stuff. Patched that all up. Vacuum. See right there. I had a coat rack right there. It's patched up. I had nail holes where I wired the furniture in, in case of an earthquake. Patched that all up. Wash the door. Closets are all good. Still got stuff on the countertop we got to get off here. I'm getting ready to turn off the power, so I got to hurry and get this done. Anyway, all the corners. This is the living room closet. All looking good. That's some of their patchwork there, it's not too good. Same with the corners. The corners from wear and tear we've been here five years, so that's all normal chipping. Because we haven't done any wall banging. <laughs> Hallway, I had a coat rack there, get a better view of that, got stuff ready to be painting, hallway looks really good, my name is Jim Andrews, I'm the caretaker and babysitter of Lori McCormick's kids, this is Lori McCormick's apartment. I done all her sitting for her. Help care for the kids. Got all behind the car there. We took all the wash and dryer out and cleaned them up really good. This is the Donovan's, Donovan's bedroom. All the walls look good. Right there, we washed it again, but that's the chronic mold right there. I had to keep it wiped up at least every few weeks. I did uh, use uh, detergent bleach, but it still comes back. A little bit in that corner there, too. And then the window was constant. I had to constantly keep you after that window. Well, that's looking good. The closet. This is the back Don Donovan's closet. No damage to the rack. Back walls, all good. Doors, good. This is this wall here. This is the master bedroom. The doorway. Walls. 
or one right there. Bathroom. Wash down, scrub down, shower. All nice and clean. Under the sink. It's all been done. Drawers. All been done. And then here's the other corner of the master bedroom here. Mold. Pog in there. Right there, and these all been open aired. House was always 70 degrees, and then here in the master bedroom, they always had their window open a good part of the day, fresh air. There's mold, and here's the closet against the outside wall. Right there is just covered in mold. He already washed it once. We scrubbed a lot of it out, but it was really, really bad. It was covering this whole entire wall here. But uh. Better look. Downstairs, right below us, people downstairs, they had to re reconstruct their whole closet and wall just uh, two months ago, but we weren't told that it was mold. They never warned us at all. And he already admitted that the outside wall here is covered in in mold so they're fully aware of their mold problem they never told the attendants to be extra extra careful uh, back here in uh, oh in Donovan we're back here in Donovan's room I forgot to tell you that they did such a lousy job putting this carpet in and there's the middle of the floor you can see the sew seam where they sewed it together that showed up just like a week after we moved in five years ago. Same with the buckling. That's the sole. And this is where it buckled at the doorway. Buckled at the master doorway. You can see all the buckling. And here's the bathroom, main bathroom. Right there. That corner there, they, I had to wipe it up myself, but uh, Section 8 gave a uh, lawyer, you inspect it all the time, but Section 8 told her that they had to wipe that, that get that cleaned up, taken care of right away, and they never did. They said, well, you can do it, just wipe it off. It's dead, so just wipe it. But at the same time, Section 8 did take pictures of this, of the mold in the floor, because the water is seeping in there from the bathtub. They came and cocked it, cocked it, and it lasted about three weeks. And the cocking came up, and the noem also peeled up that time. And they, I told them about it, and they didn't show up, so I took duct tape. I, I caught it once myself, but a week later, week or so later, it was just peeling right back up. So I took duct tape, and I got an earlier video for that and pictures, but I duct taped that whole thing right there to stop that water from going down in there and letting that mold get worse. This is the first time I've ever been in Washington for since I was a little kid and it's the first time I ever dealt with so much mold. Here's underneath the sink, it's all cleaned out. Cabinets, drawers are all washed, clean. Mirror, of course. Balls are packed, ready to paint, where I had to 
They don't have any medicine cabinets or shelves, no kind of linen place for your linen whatsoever. So I had to put shelves up so we can house linen. Okay. Not this whole entire apartment don't have any linen. And then uh, there's the living room. I already showed you that, but here's the buckling on the living room. Carpet, that, again, did that to about two weeks after we moved in. It's been like that since we moved here. Just buckled right up because it's a loose job of laying the carpet down. Okay. Anyway, so that's that. And I'll take some pictures too at the same time.